let's get into it. Let's get into the podcast. This is going to be about safety again. And how to be a safer driver. I want to talk about issues and people talking and driving erratically or like a lot of people drive with an urgency that they don't really need you have to be calm when you're driving because a lot of things can happen really fast really quick in a like a split second you can have a lot of things go bad so I'm going to talk about the foundation of this podcast is going to be around these three things there's going to be more but the things that I think about right now are going to be the four things I've been truck driving since 2012 and I've learned certain things that has helped me uh, avoid, avoid, I guess, you know, major incidents or accidents. um, And I hope to interview more people in the future. And then you guys can listen into that too going to be yeah people that have been in the industry for a long time they know what they've been doing and they're like they're they have an expertise because whenever you do anything for like a certain amount of time you become an expert and you know exactly what you're doing when you're doing it and when you're not doing it so that's what I really want to get out of this podcast is like that information into the public so hopefully that goes well so we can start that and and yeah uh, who am I Um, I can't mention my name but I can say my handle is I'm trucking tempo and I've been trucking since 2012 and I've been over the road for about five years now I am local in Los Angeles which is a very big very big change Uh, traffic It's just a different animal in Los Angeles. You have to live it to experience it, but the nitty gritty is you get cut off. Just drive into Los Angeles and expect to get cut off as a truck driver 50 times in in your shift. You're going to get cut off. That's it. That's the bottom line. Um, But what else? Uh, I learned four main facts about, well, from other drivers, not just me. I've learned four tips that really need to get heard by a lot of people and new drivers and the DMV the DMV should really need to update their thing about how to excuse me about how to train their train everybody that's getting their license like that's crazy like they need to really reevaluate it because they're giving licenses. I'm well. I can't even say that the DMV is doing it because the DMV 
just issues a license, but there's also people that don't have licenses at all. So I can't really say, I can't point the finger. But anyway, okay. From day one, I started training with my dad. And that was about a six months experience driving north and south to Washington and I think it was doing deliveries for I want to say Mike Campbell was a refrigerated food company that did deliveries to like I think I want um, several food restaurants and stuff like that but um, that was pretty good pretty good he showed me he pretty much took me out of the truck or he was driving he finished his delivery and then I and then he pulled over to the side when we had time he had nothing to do he's like all right here we go he put me in the driver's seat and said go ahead and take it bobtail get used to it and get used to the gears. It was a 13 speed. So he showed me the ropes and he said, easy on the clutch. And when you're letting off the clutch, put a little, put a little gas into it. Okay. So you you manage and then you learn so that was six months and then another four or five months that was about with my brother and that was over the road we went to several places and then training after that I got a good handle on it after five months six months after with my brother yeah you get a good understanding what's going on what to do what not to do so you do that and then you probably have a, a better foundation than than what you know you can't be forced into learning something you have to be willing to learn something because you want to be forced into learning something you're you're gonna just you're gonna brush it off and you're not gonna you're really not gonna like absorb it you have to absorb it and you have to learn and teach someone else if you don't teach someone else then you're not becoming a better better employee or a player a a better driver like you're you're not you're you're just not You, you have to You have to be like, like happy about it. You have to be like, like, yeah, happy about your job or what you're going to do. Like this, this goes across every industry. This goes across like cooking food, being a cook or a restaurant or like just anything. If you don't enjoy your job, you're going to get like sub par outcomes or product so just be happy about your job make sure you enjoy it make sure you love it and then you're going to be a great employee (laughs) yeah yeah you're going to be a great employee so um safety tips yes these are the four safety tips that i've learned in the past nine to ten years which are number one I learned this from a guy in Oregon when I was training with my dad I was in Oregon I believe it was Portland we stopped off and we parked the truck and then we went into a bar to get some drinks and some food and 
we ran into some gentlemen and I want to say he was he probably was a few drinks in because he sounded a little a little drunk he sounded a little past but he said a really a really good piece of information like he said look as far as you can ahead of you as far as you can ahead of you so that means as far as your eye can see look look at it every over every hill so there's a crest of a hill look at that and then every corner look at the corner and focus on the corner foggy situation foggy circumstances in the highway like or snow or rain just look as far as you can into what's coming at you because the sooner you know that something's coming at you you know what to do and you know how to handle it and control it so that's number one number two would be these are all examples from people that I've heard and spoke about number two would be from my friend's dad which was a truck driver too for I think UPS UPS or FedEx one of those but he just said here's my advice to you and this three pieces of advice it's one eyes on the road two eyes on the road and three eyes on the road <laughs> and you just you don't keep your eyes off the road because everything changes so quick and so fast accidents happen so fast and it's so true I love that like so I keep that in my head all the time like I I can't not think about that because it's probably saved them from a lot of accidents and that's crazy about the company that I'm working with right now they say most accidents are avoidable like unavoidable accidents are are rare like that's a rare occasion like for you to have an accident happen to you that's unavoidable is rare like that's crazy so I try to you know see if that's true or not but anyway that's number two eyes on the road eyes on the road eyes on the road number three number three is great too Number three is about is about a podcast. I got this. I picked this up recently uh, on a podcast about uh, Oklahoma State Troopers, Oklahoma Highway Patrol, Highway Patrol, or Oklahoma State Troopers. These guys made a podcast. I want to hear more about them or another division somewhere else, but. I've just heard about this one and and that was Oklahoma State Troopers and they have different divisions they have the podcast is cool they have different divisions they have like regular cars regular unit patrols they have like a it's crazy they have a a lake or a, a, a scuba diving team patrol for like their police officers which is pretty neat like so like there's crimes that happen and then people go into the lake and then discard their criminal activities <laughs> so there's a scuba diving team on the Oklahoma De- Department Police Force or Highway Patrol Force 
And then they send them to go scuba diving, to go investigate. And, but they also have a patrol that is a motorcycle division. And, and that's where I learned my most recent, my most recent skill is from the highway patrol unit from Oklahoma Department of motor vehicles though that is so cool you if you guys get a chance please listen to that it's um they just talk about from start to finish from what they do how they train and how they think and the best thought that i took away from it was what one one of the one of the uh, patrol members said was keep your head on a swivel always be expecting something or not always be expecting something but like never be surprised by anything try your best to not be surprised by anything and then you're in a much better situation so from front to back looking at your back to your front like checking your mirrors everything just check them so you're not surprised when something comes your way because it can come from the front most likely it's from the front than from the back so yeah so they said keep your head on a swivel and act or they act like a mirror cat they keep their head on a swivel. They stand up. You know how a mirror cat stands up? They stand up. And they just keep swiveling their head. So they're looking for potential accidents or incidents that will or possibly will occur. That will put them in a situation that they don't want to be that's great so that's number three number four would be my last one would be mine from what I understand and all my experience was be I mean all of that collected and then watching YouTube videos I don't like to watch them too often but every once in a while I do probably like every every month I'll probably watch like like a few videos on accidents and what I've noticed is they happen they're gonna happen whether you like it or not they're gonna happen and stay vigilant Stay very, (laughs) very vigilant because they will happen, especially on intersections. Every intersection, stay vigilant, stay aware, look alive. Doesn't matter if you have a green light, look left, look right, look right, look left. Doesn't matter if the light is showing you (laughs) green it doesn't matter it doesn't matter even if it's green just look right look left look left look right it might it might do it might save your life that's the the only thing I'm thinking about so yeah Please share this with someone if there are <laughs> if, they, if they are uh, a questionable driver. I know a few actually <laughs> that I, I should share this with, but uh, yeah. Thanks for listening and be safe out there and have a good day.